aspirants. Welcome to Prep Joy Current Affairs. I am Swati Nair. In our YouTube channel, we run you through daily current affairs quizzes from our Prep Joy app. We put up a video every day. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon below to get daily updates. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first question for the day is, when is the Indian Coast Guard Raising Day celebrated? The options are A. 30th January, B. 29th January, C. 31st January, D. 1st February. The right answer is D. 1st February. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, India has the fourth largest Coast Guard, which was established in 1977. The second question for the day is, recently, Jomara Castro has been sworn in as the first female president of which country? The options are A. El Salvador, B. UK Dot, C. Honduras, D. Paraguay. The right answer is C. Honduras. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, she said she was inheriting a bankrupt country which she intended to reshape into a socialist and democratic state. The third question for the day is, who has won the World Games Athlete of the Year Award 2021? The options are A. Neeraj Chopra, B. Priya Shrijesh, C. Bajrang Punya, D. Abhinav Bindra. The right answer is B. Priya Shrijesh. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, he is the second Indian after Rani Rampal to win this award. The fourth question for the day is, who has won the 2022 Odisha Open Badminton Tournament? The options are A. Unati Huda, B. Kiran George, C. Both of the above, D. Smith Toshniwal. The right answer is C. Both of the above. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, Unati Huda and Kiran George registered victories to clinch the women's and men's singles title respectively. The fifth question for the day is, recently the Chinese government has imposed Import restrictions on which country? The options are A. Lithuania, B. Estonia, C. Belarus, D. Serbia. The right answer is A. Lithuania. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, India is planning to raise quality standards of imports, impose quality restrictions, mandate stringent disclosure norms and initiate more frequent checks at the ports of entry for goods coming from many Asian countries. The book for the day is General Studies Paper 1. This is the best-selling book particularly designed for the civil services preliminary exams. This book is divided into six major sections covering the complete syllabus as per UPSC pattern. Special section is provided for current affairs covering events, summits and conferences in simple and lucid language used for better understanding of topics. Five crack sets are given for practice. Practice questions provide topic-wise questions and previous year solved papers. The book provides conventional subjects like history, geography, political science and general science that are thoroughly updated along with the chapter-wise and section-wise questions. The sixth question for the day is, which ministry has started home delivery of medicines under Sehat Yojana? The options are A. Ministry of Defence, B. Ministry of Health, C. Ministry of Education, D. Ministry of Home Affairs. The right answer is A. Ministry of Defence. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, in this initiative, the home delivery or self-pickup of medicines to patients seeking consultation on Sehat has started from 1st of February 2022. The seventh question for the day is, who has taken over Bengaluru as the startup capital of India? The options are A. Mumbai, B. Delhi, C. Noida, D. Chennai. The right answer is B. Delhi. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, Delhi has replaced Bengaluru as the startup capital of India according to the Economic Survey of 2021-2022, tabled by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman in the Parliament on Monday. The eighth question for the day is, recently the Ministry of Electronics and which ministry has proposed federated digital identities? The options are A. Finance Ministry, B. Ministry of Health, C. IT Ministry, D. Niti Aayog. The right answer is C. IT Ministry. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, all the digital identities of a citizen can be interlinked with each other, which would eliminate the need for the repeated verification process according to the draft proposal. The ninth question for the day is, who has been appointed as the new chief of the Defense Intelligence Agency? The options are A. Aftar Singh, B. KJS Dillon, C. Syed Atta Hasnain, D. G.A.V. Reddy. The right answer is B. G.A.V. Reddy. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, Lieutenant General Reddy attended the Defence Service Staff College at Wellington and also held a vast number of important command and staff appointments. The tenth question for the day is, recently H.E. Antonio Costa has been re-elected as the Prime Minister of which country? The options are A. Poland, B. Spain, C. 
Portugal B Hungary. Right answer is C Portugal. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is still Portugal remains Western Europe's poorest country and relies on EU pandemic recovery funds. The 11th question for the day is which bank has launched a co-branded credit card with Patanjali? The options are A SBI, B BOP, C ICICI, D PNB. The right answer is D PNB. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is the co-branded cards come with a host of attractive benefits and spend-based favours for the customers. The 12th question for the day is which country will introduce federal corporate tax on business profits in 2023? The options are A. UAE, B. Iran, C. Saudi Arabia, D. Kuwait. The right answer is A. UAE. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is the UAE, long known as a tax heaven, will tax business profits over $102,000 at 9% from June next year. The 13th question for the day is which state government has launched AB Seva Portal 2.0? The options are A. Arunachal Pradesh, B. Andhra Pradesh, C. Uttar Pradesh, D. Himachal Pradesh. The right answer is B. Andhra Pradesh. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is it is one step digital platform for grievance address and to provide citizen services transparently. The 14th question for the day is which city has become the recipient of the Climate Change Action Plan? The options are A. Chennai, B. Kolkata, C. Mumbai, B. Nasik. The right answer is B. Nasik. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is the plan was launched by State Environment Minister Aditya Thakare at the BMC headquarters on Friday. We have reached towards the end of the video. This is the final question for the day. India and which country have discussed UNSC issues in New Delhi? The options are A. Russia, B. America, C. England, D. Japan. The right answer is A. Russia. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is Bilateral consultations on United Nations related issues were held between India and Russia in New Delhi on 31st of January 2022. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And let me know in the comments if you have downloaded PrepJoy app. If you haven't, find the link in the description. And I'll see you all tomorrow at 6pm. Happy learning!